Hey everybody, Max Impact 24 channel here, and I wanted to uh, do a quick review about an Xbox 360 game that I think gets unjustly criticized, and that's uh, Ninja Blade. So basically, it takes a lot of different concepts from a lot of different games, like you know, Prince of Persia, uh, uh, God of War, as well as Ninja Gaiden, and a few other ones. It kind of mishmashes it all together. And it's uh, Ninja Blade, and there's a lot of hate on this game because maybe uh, I think it's a lot of quick time events people don't like and all that. But I actually love quick time events. I actually love it in God of War. And you know, there's a lot of those sequences in this game. But I mean, the graphics are just nice and stunning. I mean, you know, from software, or the, the developers, and uh, the game didn't sell well apparently, and it didn't do too well, I guess. So it's in bargain bins everywhere, so you can nab it for like 10 bucks or less. But basically, you know, it doesn't have the best story, you know, of them all. I mean, you play a, um, you know, aspiring ninja named Kenogawa, and basically you're in this task force that's sent out to Tokyo, Japan, and basically you're there to uh, contain and wipe out this contagion, this virus that's been breaking out. And, you know, from it going critical and, you know, spreading throughout the world, you and your master, which is actually your father, go out and, you know, you have your ninja recruits, or your recruits, <laughs> recruits, you know, you have your ninja recruits and you're out, you know, containing uh, this area in the city and for some odd reason he hands you this mystical sword that's bound together and, you know, nobody can unsheath it and he basically goes nuts, he goes bonkers after you beat the uh, first level boss and him and another student, and maybe your brother, I'm not too sure, but, uh, you know they go uh, they go AWOL and basically betray you and your other ninja you know clan. Basically they leave you for dead and uh, pretty cool premise you know oldest story in the book I guess. But it works. It's simple. It's nice. So basically you're out for revenge and you're out to can uh, contain this virus that's you know spreading throughout Japan quickly. So you have nine missions. Uh, it's a pretty uh, tough game. Um, when you actually fuck up the quick time events, you know, it'll just kind of do a whole playback and rewind and then you just, you know, you go forward from that spot again, which is kind of nice. You don't have to redo the whole level. Um, you know, there's tons of power-ups, uh, collectibles to get, you know, there's secret uh, outfits. And you actually, which is another cool thing about this game, is you can, you can customize the way you look and you can customize your colors so you can have outrageous, you know, pink colors. And you know, during the cutscenes, he like deadpans. Ken, Ken, the main character, just deadpans the whole thing. His, his dialogue, and it's just hilarious it's to see him in different colors. Right now, uh, my uh, my Ken's rocking the uh, bright neon orange and uh, neon blue uh, gauntlets and all that. So it's really neat, really cool. I really like it. I like the sword play. You know, it's not as deep as say God of War, or it's not as deep as uh, Ninja Gaiden on the Xbox, but it's still good. It's not overly complex, um, you know, you get three different uh, main weapons, you get your uh, two smaller blades, you get your standard sword, which is like the medium, you know, it's not so fast, but it's not so weak of a weapon. And then you get your ultra powerful, you know, double handed bastard sword, which you can upgrade to like level three or level four, which is really cool because it unlocks different moves, which is really nice, so it keeps it kind of fresh you know it is a button masher but you know they do some platforming bits a la Prince of Persia where you're running across the walls which is really cool I always love that little little move set um, you know you can do wall-to-wall you know, uh, -wall flips a la Ninja, uh, Ninja Gaiden um, you know it's a really good game and it gets a lot of negative reviews it gets shit on it gets crapped on and I don't know, I don't think it deserves it, so um, for all of you uh, Xbox 360 purists out there who are into their first person shoot 'em ups and all that, why don't you go take a look at Ninja Blade. You can probably find it at an EB Games or GameStop real cheap, and like I said, it's in the bargain bin. I bought this for like 10 bucks, so you can't go wrong. It's it's a really fun game, and that's the big that's the big issue here, is, is it fun? And for me, at least, it is a lot of fun, so do yourself a favor and check it out. There's a lot of content, there's a lot of, you know, hidden orbs, health orbs, and uh, ninjutsu orbs that powers up your shuriken, which you can uh, actually get four different types of elemental shurikens, you, you know, fire and water and all that stuff. And it's really cool, and, you know, it's a decent challenge, just check it out. So, uh, Max Impact 24 channel, thanks for checking this out, uh, click the like button below, subscribe, you know, I'm on Twitter again, I'll put the little doohickey down below. 
Uh, so anyways, uh, take care and cheers.